So I'm Simon Gilbody. And I'm also director of the UKRI Closing the Gap Network. Okay, I'm Gordon Johnston. I'm a peer researcher. I have lived experience of bipolar um, and I've been involved in the network since the launch event as a, a representative with lived experience. So the networks don't live in silos and so we look wherever we can for opportunities to collaborate and bring um, different perspectives to important problems for people who use mental health services. So um, the establishment of the networks really has kick-started lots and lots of research and lots of interdisciplinary discussions in certain areas. So um, we were able to tap into that when a new problem arose, loneliness amongst people with severe mental ill health during the, the pandemic and during the lockdown. And that wouldn't have probably happened if those networks hadn't have been in place and we didn't have that infrastructure and those conversations weren't taking place. I, I, I was just agreeing very much with Simon and, and, and a lot of this was about those pre-existing relationships and, and the trust that's built up over a number of years. You know, it's, it's, it's always easier to work with a group of people for the second, the third, the fourth time when you've got to know each other a bit. You, you know how each other work. You can play the roles you play in projects. It's always far easier to do that than it is to set up something from scratch. And particularly when we're, we're working under the conditions we've all had to work under over the last year. It's also the having a series of people from different backgrounds and perspectives who are working together already and they can bring together that collective expertise, those synergies really quite quickly to, to and turn their expertise to new problems as they emerge. So um, having a research infrastructure and a network in place allowed us to um, again move very quickly because those conversations were already taking place.